14 cash unit mills, no one in operation. <laughs> so this is the, the state sector. But now most of these factories are the pri private. But at the beginning, the government, the government is the leading. The leading must do the leading role. So that's the, uh, what just, I continue to say, that we change, but the state sector gradually changed from 90% of GDP to 40%. And now the private sector move up to 45%. The foreign direct investment move up to 15%. We diversify the sectors. So this is uh, very important. I do not accept the ruthless privatization. Sorry. <laughs> uh, another, another point in the uh, change of the socio-economic uh, Renovation is that Vietnam was one way internationalized. We always talk that we have the international integration with the socialist system. But over 90% of our trade was with one market, the Russians. But when we move to the market economy, we change from one market to 122 markets. Of course, some markets bigger than the others. but. 122 is bigger than one, I'm sure. <laughs> and along with the changing of the markets, we integrate with the ASEAN, the Southeast Asian groupings, like you have the East African countries here. We join WTO, we normalize the relation with the United States, they lifted the embargo, we export coffee to the United States with the taxes coming from 85% to 5%. 5% is good, better than 50, uh, 85. You see, sometimes money, 85 is better. But the taxes is 5 better. And uh, then another point was that with the uh, economic transformation, we got the growth rate uh, about 7.5% per year. And from that, we get uh, the income per capita from less than $100 in 1986 at the beginning of the renovation to over $1,000 today. So Vietnam was lifted from the least developed country to the lower middle income country today. But we will lose something because the NGOs left Vietnam because Vietnam is now middle income. Be careful when you come to middle income, you lose money. <laughs> um, the second point I would like to uh, illustrate is the uh, poverty. And all the strategies, all the plans, uh, the five years plans, the 10 years strategies, the yearly plan, poverty alleviation is always in the top priority of the country. Without the priority for poverty alleviation, you may not have equity. Without equity, you may not have a real socio-economic transformation. So from this, we have done several things. We integrate the poverty alleviation program with other development programs. Forestry, rural infrastructure, and so on. We, increase, we change the commodities, we change from the subsistence production to commodity production. We say that marketization, commercialization, and diversification. And from these uh, programs, we increase the export uh, commodities. In 1986, I still remember that we said that we try to get some commodities with the export of over 100 million US dollars. But up to now, we have more than 10 commodities with each one with over 1 billion US dollars. We could not imagine that in 1986, but now we got it. So the diversification, the commercialization, the, uh, the marketization, all has done. And, uh, in order to develop the uh, poverty alleviation programs, we try to 
get the multi stakeholders to join, including the communities, the peasant association, the women association, the youth association, the trade association, and the, uh, all the uh, cooperatives. And also we integrated the measures. We learned the microcredit policy from Bangladesh and it now become widespread in Vietnam. At the beginning we thought that the poor people did not have the ability to pay. But now 97 of them pay. Only 3% do not pay. But for the rich people, rich business people, many of them do not pay to the banks. <laughs> so compare the poor to the rich to give them the money. You, you, the more you give, the more they get, the more they do not pay. Uh, another program is that we build the rural infrastructure that the poor people join and they get an earning. They improve their living. We uh, reforest, we bring the program of deforestation. Then they grow the forest, they have jobs, they have earnings, they have the forest. We find the outlets for the outputs. Instead of closing the enterprise, we open the market. Then were times, some people said that our textile factories may be closed because the state sector enterprise were producing for the Russian market. But when the Russian, the Soviet Union collapsed, we no longer had the markets. So we come to Taiwan, we come to Korea, we come to Japan to look for the technologies, to look for the uh, assembly, to look for the manufacture. At the beginning, we export through these panels. And finally, we bring our goods to the real markets. And from nothing, we now get 8 billion US dollars of export of textile a year. Or, uh, so the, uh, with these efforts, the poverty rate has been reduced from 70% of the households during the 80s to 10% today. So this is a big change. You see that we have growth, we have a reduction of poverty. The final thing I talk about, the lessons. The first lesson I think is the gradualism. We privatize, but we do not own. We do it slowly. We select the good things for the country, we keep it. But when you keep it, it is big difficulties. We have to pass. The second is that the continuity. If you privatize at once, you destroy all the industries you build 30 years, 50 years. The paper mill in Vietnam turned to be the largest company of the country. The paper mill in Tanzania, when I was here, it was sold for one dollar, with one promise. That later I will do the same, but I would do differently. And everybody accept my different activities. This is the problem that when you sell out for one promise with the person who may not do what he promised. This is the problem. So the two lessons, gradualism, continuity, and then we come to the double gains, fast growth and quick poverty reduction. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, uh, Honorable Ministers, Regional Commissioners, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Uh, I, I have to ban my prepared uh, PPT and I just uh, like to uh, take a few notes uh, to respond to uh, uh, earlier presentations uh, in terms of uh, 
social transformation and uh, poetry production. And I was uh, um, actually quite uh, um, impressed by the speech made by uh, His Excellency President uh, uh, G.K.T. that um, uh, the problems that um, um, the social transformation and the growth in Tanzania has yet to 